John, I think this is a ideal solution for we was talking to recently to a, um, a retail customer. Mm -hmm. They have 1,800 stores geographically distributed. Yep. Obviously, they don't have IT staff in every one of those stores. A typical store network consists of you know Wi-Fi um, access points. They have obviously a lot of their point of sale machines. They have a lot of IoT type devices. They offer guest access to their mm -hmm. clients coming in. Obviously, the client, mm -hmm. the, the staff devices also yep. connect to the network. And uh, their problem statement, right, is for me, if I had to make, and there are, these stores are very dynamic. A lot of things happening all the time. People are connecting new devices, new devices coming on, the store is expanding. Uh, they, you know, they want to do mobile POS, for example. And, and so the, the other thing is, if I have to send the staff person on site, that is super expensive. Very right? expensive, yep. Um, and so they want to have, and it's, it's hard to say, you know, hey, if you want to make a switch configuration change, you make sure you go to the closet, you give them the port number to connect to, et cetera, right? It's just a, yep. an error prone process. So a lot of times it's a trade off for them. Uh, do I send somebody and incur the cost or take the risk of a human error into yeah. that? Hey, let, so, let me just, let me yeah. chime in here for a second. You know what they say, 80% of all network failures and network outages are due to misconfiguration of the network. That misconfiguration can be caused by multiple reasons. But when you automate this configuration, you remove that chance of misconfiguration. So it's, it's a big win for you. So to net it out, I see this as if you're a distributed enterprise, especially if you're a distributed yep. enterprise, and operational efficiency is a key goal for you, mm -hmm. PBA is the answer. PBA is automation. Is the Sounds answer. pretty cool. It is very cool. Very cool.